Hello. Today I would like to demonstrate the results of uh, our work on in Synfig interface improvement. Well, um, here we have a, uh, a Synfig window as it is now. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, first most significant change, what you uh, what is uh, at the same time is uh, not much noticeable is the GTK free migration. So we have migrated the whole Synfig interface into uh, into GTK version three. So it doesn't use an outdated outdated. Uh, second version anymore and uh, by this moment uh, uh, the GTK3 port is pretty much usable as much as uh, previous uh, as version in GTK2 uh, the only missing thing is uh, that uh, there are no keyframe markers at the timeline panel, but uh, we are working to fix that right now. Uh, with all of the rest, uh, it works pretty much uh, stable in my experience. Uh, well, maybe there will be some bugs, but <laughs> we didn't found them yet. Okay, so well, let's get to the real interface changes well uh, you can see uh, there are uh, much more space for work area right now because of rearrange uh, because we did a rearranging of the widgets around uh, well you can see that toolbox can be stretched now and uh, some of its widgets were rearranged, for example the colors widget, uh, the brush widget looks differently now, a bit, a bit differently and uh, uh, we have removed uh, the default interpolation widget from toolbox and uh, moved it here because it's more animation related so when you enable animation mode you can see the current uh, interpolation set so uh, it much less likely that you will make a mistake and will work with the wrong interpolation method and uh, next uh, we had uh, previously we had two toolbars at the top and now the main toolbar was merged into a canvas toolbar and uh, it's uh, nicely stretch when you stretch uh, canvas uh, window it's nicely uh, hides uh, miss um, hides buttons what are not doesn't fit here and uh, the same happens with the uh, bottom part almost the same uh, you can see the interpolation widget is cropped to um, to make it possible to shrink uh, work area so uh, well, you can have, in fact, you can, now you can uh, have uh, two, two documents in a row, almost with no harm to the interface. Well, let's close it. And, uh, oops. Okay, and um, what's next? Aha, uh -huh. you, you might uh, notice that uh, we have uh, removed the to toolbar, f oh, time, time bar from timeline from the bottom of canvas window 
uh, because we already have a timeline one timeline here so why to have two timelines but uh, of maybe some users will still need a time bar a timeline here so we can they can enable it with this button this is uh, should this should be useful if you work on several monitors and uh, want to detach uh, your canvas window and uh, put it onto another monitor in in this case surely uh, additional timeline will be will be needed you will need it okay let's move it back Uh, what's next? Uh, uh, also, we have there was a, a status bar at the bottom, which was a big waste of space. Uh, so we have uh, removed it and put. Uh, well, we have uh, separated its widget widgets in, and integrated them into the other toolbars for example the messages are displayed here and the progress bar is now displayed here well mm, basically that's all what was done during this month uh, i hope uh, you will like the changes thank you and goodbye